Hello guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you a little unboxing of my 7 inch Naviceiver car radio with GPS. Um, I got this for about 200 USD and let's check the box what's in there. I um, just purchased it. I don't know how the quality is of those Naviceivers but on the picture it did look good so I just decided to buy it for my car and yeah okay here we got the user manual and um, this front cover here this front frame for the car then here should come the radio So as you can see this is a 7 inch LCD with touch screen, comes with a display protector here and it's got a front mic infrared for the um, remote, then here are several buttons for volume, uh, mode, mute and down and up for the display. The display is adjustable, you can, um, you can lower it and under there there is the um, CD inlet and the USB drive and a SD card slot. Here we got a reset button and a micro USB cable. So let's check the back of this thing. On the back you can see the connectors. We got one connector here for GPS. Here for an um, antenna cable for um, TV. That's only, uh, I don't know, it's it's um, digital or analog, I don't know. And here the antenna for the radio. Further we got um, some connectors for a rear cam, a rear cam. Then here we got the uh, um, audio connectors for front speakers, rear speakers. Um, in, I don't know what's this now. Uh, AED. I need to check the manual for this. This is for parking, so um, if you put this to ground you can um, watch even movies while driving. Further we got here more video inputs and outputs, a subwoofer connector, uh, another video output, I think this is for uh, back seats and uh, monitors if you have one. I don't know, some ground cable, AED, I don't know what that means. And here we got an iPod connector there is a connector in there, you put it in there and then it comes to an um, um, iPod connector which is really cool and yeah, here we got aux in um, left and right oh uh, yes so there should be, I don't know if there's a fan or it's fanless I think there must be a fan but I can't see it now here and there is also another connector for um, the other cables like power and I don't know, let's check this box here. Here we get the other connectors. Here you can see um, the iPhone iPod cable. Um, this is only for the old one, so it doesn't work with iPhone 5, but you can buy an adapter, which should work. Then we got here um, the power management cables like, I don't know, ground, AC, um, yeah. I'll, I will need to check the manual how to wire up this thing. And here must be a fuse in there. That's a 10 amp fuse. Um, yes, further we got a micro USB to a um, USB adapter for, for the front so you can put in there USB sticks and some mounting tool here and this is the um, GPS antenna you can put it in there and put it anywhere on the car I don't know where but I will maybe um, I don't know where and we got a remote here, looks pretty cheap but if it works it's okay. 
it got these um, rubber pads here I think it has a battery in let me check it oh no there's no battery in so we need to purchase one and yes basically that was everything from the box I will now get a battery and a 12 volts power supply to power up this thing and then I will show you the functions of the radio. So guys we are now here back on the radio. As you can see I attached a battery and a charger to it and also attached a speaker to it. And now we will start this thing and check the functions of the radio. So we can start this here, or you can could also start it with um, the remote. Okay, this is now the tuner menu. We got here our tuner. Let's see if it plays some music. Oh, this works really good. Okay, that works. As you can see, you have um, six um, memory stations for the radio stations here. You can um, search here for frequencies and memorize them here. Um, I would like to take a look at the equalizer. We can find this, I think, here. So here we have the equalizer. Um, as you can see, here are presets like dance, Latin, rock, rave, urban. And you can also um, fade between um, front and rear, and left and right. It's pretty cool. Um, here should be a menu. Okay, no, it's to to uh, to um, enter frequencies manually. And here is the settings menu. So on general, we can adjust things like clock and some other stuff. Also, languages is maybe something you want to know. Um, there are several languages available. So, English, German, France, uh, Spanish, everything. There's also some, um, some features on loudness equalization, subwoofer on or off. Then we got some hardware stuff like doing the, turning the beep on or off. And yes. So, here you could calibrate your screen if you want to. I have to say um, the touch screen works very good, um, this is no pressure sensitive, it's really uh, capacitive, it's really good. And we also got here Bluetooth included in this thing, so you can connect your phone to the radio, that's also pretty impressive for that price. Okay, then let's go back and check some other functions. Um, I would like to see how this can turn on or off, so I will press the open button here. Now the display goes down and you got here a GPS card. So here are the GPS files for um, the GPS um, software. You can add maps or you can try different softwares. And here is a SD card just for system memory. And here we have our um, CD drive. Um, if it's open now I would like to test the movie now. Let's test Duel, Enemy at the Gate. Um, by the way, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you should. It's two snipers um, trying to kill each other. And that's pretty cool. So let's insert the DVD. Oh, that works pretty good. And it also closes automatically. So let's see if it can, if it is supported, so if it playback works. Loading takes a bit long, but I think that's okay. Um, to to watch videos while driving, you need to connect this um, pink cable to ground. So I grounded it on the battery, and now I should be able to watch. 
and this really works, that's cool. Here's a DVD menu, I think I can go here to the menu if this works, yes, root menu. Oh, that's impressive. The resolution isn't the best, you can see little, I don't know, I think it has 840 times something. It's not HD, but it, it looks pretty good for a car radio. And this works very well. Also the, the DVD, um, DVD no noise isn't really bad. It's not noisy at all. So let's adjust the volume a bit. Also the sound is amazing. Pretty good. I think it has a 50 watts um, amplifier. As you can see, it now drains the battery for about 8 amps at um, 12 volts. And so, movie playback is working. Maybe go some further in the movie. And this looks pretty impressive. Maybe the light isn't very good yet now. But this works, okay? So let's go back with mode to, I don't know, radio. And let's test what happens if we connect a USB flash drive to it. So let's connect the USB flash drive here. It automatically starts loading. But it says unsupported USB, okay. Maybe let's reconnect this. Okay, now it started loading. Um, at music playback works very fine. You can also browse folders here. If you go to one folder, um, it works pretty good. And that's okay. I think it can um, also um, play movies from the USB drive, which is pretty good too. And okay, then let's try the navigation mode. So you can switch with the mode button here, and you need to watch here. It should some. T yeah, now it says navigation. So let's wait for this. Okay, got some green screen here. Okay, then let's try to find something. Okay, Australia. Okay, that's pretty shit because um, those Chinese people maybe thought I'm from Australia and not from Austria. And so they gave me the map of Australia, which is not pretty good because I can't do something with this map. But for testing purposes it's okay too, let's take something here maybe. I just want to see if this um, receiver gets a GPS signal or if the antenna works good. Um, I connected the antenna here and put it out of the window so it should be um, good. You can set this destination. Okay. And as you can see, it got a GPS signal, but there is no map because there is no map of Austria installed now. Only fucking Australia. Oh, sorry. But they always fuck it, fuck Australia up with Austria. That's that's pretty bad. As you can see, it found the GPS. Accuracy is high. I don't know what high means, but the elevation is 160 meters. That's okay. And you can see your chords here. And here are the satellites. It's connected with one, two, three, four, five, six satellites, I think. And that's okay. So GPS would work if I would have gotten a map. And yes. Um, basically, I am done. I think that were all of the functions I could test for now. Um, we, I can't test aux in now because I don't have an aux in cable here. And, but I think this should also work very good. Um, yeah, and for my feedback, I would really recommend this. Um, 
if I got any problems on this in the next weeks when I'm um, attaching it to my car, I will post it. But um, this device did only cost um, 135 euro, which is about 180 dollars, and that's really impressive because in our country those um, Navi receivers cost about 500, 600 or above, and that's re um, really much money for um, this thing. So thanks for watching my review and please stay tuned and subscribe and thanks for watching, see you the next time, bye.